Okay, uh, so today we are going to uh, continue our journey to the multimodal representation learning based on the transformers. Uh, okay, so let me start with the definition of the multimodality. So information in the world usually coming from different modalities. We are computer vision course and we are mainly dealing with the visual signals, but actually the information we are getting in our real uh, daily lives is visual, audio, text, or speech, or some others like knowledge or uh, many more. So the um, information stored in the computers or on the internet uh, can be a variety of forms like this. And uh, in modern machine learning models, actually taking advantage of the relationship between different these modes uh, is getting more, more and more popular. So for example, we can uh, think of these applications as an example. So uh, text-based image video retriever. We call this search. When you Google uh, something uh, with some text queries, you are going to find some images. So how do they work? Um, so from a text query, like word, phrase, or sentence, uh, the task is selecting the most relevant pictures or images to those queries. That's called image search. And the other way around is captioning. So uh, given an image or a video, and then our task is generating some sentence describing the scene or the, the video. That sounds even more uh, hard, but uh, that's also an active area of research. And visual question answering, we have introduced this before. So given an uh, image or video and some text information and questions written in text, and sometimes it's a, a multiple choice questions or sometimes you have to generate uh, the text answers. Or temporal and spatial localization. So given an image and video, you have to localize what a text description is describing uh, is actually shown, especially in the image or temporally within the video. So all of these tests are requiring good understanding on the visual signal and the text signal and probably something else as well. So yeah, these are the ex uh, example of the image captioning and the visual Q&A. So today, uh, from now on, we are going to learn about how to use the transformer models we have discovered in uh, lecture 16 uh, in this multi-model representation learning settings. So yeah, we are going to mostly use the transformers as our base model for image text models and video text models. So let's start with the image, image text models. So here are the motivating questions. Uh, so how can we apply the transformer to learn image text correspondence? So what is a transformer? Let's uh, recall that. Transformer takes what? A sequence, right? A sequence of tokens. But uh, text is a sequencer in nature. What about an image? not a video, image is not a sequence. So how can we use the transformer to uh, represent an image as a sequence? Actually, we have seen that in, in uh, right before in the previous uh, VIT example. We just uh, split the image into different uh, patches and we use that as a uh, token. So we can do the similar things here. And how can we collect the image text pairs? So here, actually in the BERT, we use two sentences as a training data. And we knew that they are uh, relevant to each other or not by uh, how we sampled them in, in the corpus. Then how we can collect image text pairs which are relevant to each other, right? So think about some uh, correlations that we would like to learn from. Direct and explicit description of an image may need human radar. So yeah, one, Exhaustive way is actually asking human readers that are uh, giving, giving an image, then uh, explain uh, or describe what it is. But that's not uh, cost effective, right? So any indirect way of collect this? So we can use uh, some logs of the, the web search engine, like the image search query and uh, the clicked images or uh, image and text coexist in the web page. Like in Wikipedia, you have some images and some captions or uh, the explanation of the page in general is relevant to that picture. 
or in the videos, you, know, you have the video thumbnail, it's an image, and the video has its title or description or any comments in the same page. In, you can actually collect these uh, weekly labeled data set from the web for free or publicly available data. So the first model we are going to deal with is called VLBERT. Uh, this was from 2019, so quite recent model. So um, they apply the transformer to model image text uh, correspondence. So suppose you have some data set uh, of the relevant image and text are paired. So uh, the training data is the image and its caption, uh, which is the description of that image, which is uh, annotated by human actually. So something like this, this uh, image, you don't see what is is actually. These are, I don't know, um, yeah, some picture and its description, like the kitten drink from, yeah, it, this, I think this is a rabbit. Uh, I don't know, ah, this is the milk. Yeah, anyway, so uh, yeah. They uh, have the sentence describing this picture, and uh, the picture itself are given as a pair. And you're going to tokenize both of them, both modes, into uh, word tokens and image tokens. And then you're going to train this model by some task. So we are going to see that. So uh, this model itself uh, looks very similar to the bird, right? But now they have four instead of three. So the token embedding is same as before. The word will be tokenized, uh, uh, learned as an embedding. And for image part, they have just a special token called image. So for this token embedding, we don't care uh, about the images. And for the visual embeddings, the, the text part, they take the entire image. And for this part, they have the uh, region of interest pooled areas using faster RCNN. So we're going to see that in the later slides. So this part is the additional input and all the others are just the same. And the segment embedding, uh, A, B, C. So A was, uh, actually I have, yeah. So let's see, the text, for, text part first. For the text part, which is the uh, blue part here, it's very similar to the BERT, the language model. So the sequence position embedding is the same as before, one, two, three, four, five, six, for each of those words in the sentence. And segment embedding is uh, indicating whether that's coming from the sentence part. So that's called A here. A is for the text, B is for another text because in VQA we have two different texts and C is from the image. So for image we will have C. And then visual feature embedding, uh, this part they uh, put just the entire image uh, for all the tokens because we don't have any specific information for these uh, language tokens. And uh, the task here is the uh, masked language modeling. So it's MLM, same as the BERT. So MLM itself is the same as BERT, but now only difference is that they are also given this uh, visual, uh, visual embedding as well. And also uh, these region of interest pooled image tokens are also given as an input. So when we apply the contextualization, you, uh, attend not just other words, but also you attend the visual embeddings and vice versa. So that's how we are going to learn the correlation between these text, textual information and these uh, visual information together. And for this visual part, uh, so this is a, a little bit new here. So because we don't have the text word here, these are just uh, some special image tokens are used uh, and then for image part, we uh, run the faster RCNN, pre-trained faster RCNN to find out the region of interests. And here we found the kitten and the, uh, the milk, uh, the cup of milk. And using this faster RCNN, it will classify what it is, even though it may not be always true, uh, correct, but they still uh, get some quite trustworthy labels using that model. So, Using, using that, they wanted to classify what uh, each of these tokens if they are masked. So we call that in, in the MLM task in the BERT, we mask out some word and we ask the model to learn the sentence completion task. 
Same here. We just black out some part of the image, like zero out, like this. And what is it? And then what is the task? It needs to figure out what it will be inside this part visually based on the uh, hints from the rest of the image as well as the text uh, given, right? So uh, it will find out that the kitten is here and that will be the good hints that a kitten should be here. And then we classify, uh, because we cannot fill out all the pixels, we just classify this embedding and uh, it should be the same as the actual label of this region of interest, which is cat. So that will be back propagated to learn uh, this visual encoder. Okay, so overall it's same as BERT, but it's applying the idea of BERT into the image tokens. And uh, I'm not going to talk about this geometry embedding uh, in more details, but this is similar to the positional encoding in the word case, but they actually uh, encoded in rows and columns separately to preserve the two dimensional structure. So what can we do with this VLBERT? So um, they applied it to visual cancer answering. So um, two sentences, the question and the unknown answer. Uh, so the second part is answer part, but we give nothing. We always mask it out because this is question and answering task. The model needs to find out what the answer should be here. And the third part is the image, so A, B, C. And uh, so this image is given here, and then uh, the question is given here, and the task is uh, figuring out the right answer here. And that's done by the transformer by contextualizing all the tokens within the sentence, okay? And this is even more uh, harder version of the uh, VQA, but it's actually very similar. So common sense reasoning. So uh, yeah, let me skip this part. This is very similar to uh, VQA, but it's harder, more logistic questions. So they applied uh, two loss functions here. The main objective is the classifying the right answer, but uh, auxiliary loss uh, was applied to the image part. So each of these observed uh, region of interest needs to be classified correctly. So that's how they train this model. And another task is the ref referring expression comprehension. So um, the task is given an image and a text describing something within the image. Our task is finding out where it's actually happening within this, uh, the image, especially. So given uh, the region of interest, which is the candidate of these uh, answers and the query text. And then we uh, contextualize within these uh, pairs. And then um, region of, um, then uh, where is this? Yeah, then they uh, classify based on the region uh, representation at the end of these image tokens to uh, have the highest value uh, will be chosen as the, as the answer and they will be trained uh, based on the ground truth answer, okay? Okay, so yeah, time's up almost. So yeah, we are going to uh, cover this billboard model in the next lecture. Okay, any question?